Okay, well today we're going to talk about making sticky rice balls, uh, otherwise known as Mitsubi, uh, Japanese. Uh, and these were a favorite snack of rivers. Uh, we're going to use canned green beans for our filling. I've made some cow rose, which is old, which is a type of sticky rice. I put a couple drops of vinegar. It doesn't matter whether it's apple cider or white vinegar. Uh, just don't use balsamic vinegar. Uh, you want the rice? I already cooked it. It's cooled a little. So the first thing we're going to do, the most important thing, is that we have saran wrap. I'm going to take some saran wrap, rip off a piece, put it down on my nice clean counter. I'm going to take a scoop of some rice. I'm going to put it in here. Uh, depending on what size rice ball you want, uh, more or less rice. So I put a little on there. I'm going to take it. I'm going to flatten it. get stickier as I flatten it. Then I'm going to get out a couple pieces of green bean, break them up, put them in the middle. You can use any filling you want. It's the same process. Uh, that little bit of green bean. Then I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to kind of fold the sides in. And bring it all together like that. And I twist it a little and squish it into a ball. And I unwrap it. So I'm going to reuse the same saran wrap to make many, many of these. But as you can see, I have a nicely, perfectly formed rice ball with uh, some veggies inside. Depending on your eater, you can make them large, small, medium, all different sizes. So here we go. I'm going to make another one. A little scoop. Flatten it out. Make it kind of sort of round or square, doesn't matter as long as it's not all um, L-shaped or weird. A little bit of green beans in the middle. Pick it up. Shape it into a little ball. If there's filling that was sticking out, I can kind of use my thumb to push it in. Or you can leave it sticking out so they can see what's inside. Pour a little, little, squeeze it a little. And another sticky rice ball. And so I'm going to keep repeating that and repeating that. Same piece of saran wrap works to make many, many. Flatten it out. Couple little pieces of green bean in here. And the more of them you do, the you get at it. I like them when there's a little bit of something sticking out so you know what's inside because a lot of times I'll make them with lots of different fillings and then put them all together. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can shake some sesame seeds on them. In this case, I've got uh, this, this one here that I want to decorate with sesame seeds. So I'll just sprinkle a little sesame seeds down, dot, 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 dot on it. And they look pretty cool. Uh, that's another way to identify one filling versus another is to use uh, either black or brown sesame seeds. 
Thank you. And uh, I hope you have good luck making these. Uh, you can make a lot of them. They refrigerate, they store for over a week, and kids gobble them up.